Hello everyone, I'm Brenda Douglas, your real estate notary and title expert. Welcome to the DMV Fan Club. Here is where I introduce you to the DMV, which is also known as the District of Columbia, Maryland, and Northern Virginia. Now that you're here, go ahead and subscribe and be a part of this club. Be a part of this channel for more information about fun things to do around the DMV such as community events, tourist attractions, family fun activities, real estate related topics, and so much more. In this video, I am going to share 25 ways that you can save money to purchase. Purchasing a home is a really big investment. There are a lot of upfront fees. The closing costs is typically around um, $7,000 to $12,000, depending, of course, on the loan product that you get. And then whether or not the seller is willing to provide closing assistance. At any rate, you can factor about that much. And then also, of course, again, the loan products, your um, interest rate and things of that nature, all of that plays a factor in how much you will pay in upfront fees. But for the most part, you will need to save money. Okay. So this is why I'm going to share some ways that you can save some money because when you are serious about purchasing a home, you really need to take the initiative. You really need to be committed to the decision to purchase a home. And one of the ways you can do that is by saving money, okay? You have a lot of upfront um, fees. You have the home inspection, which typically runs between one, 100 and maybe 400, depending on the um, size of the home. Then you have the appraisal, which can range from 300 on up, depending again on the size or the square feet of the home. Okay, so you have a lot of fees that needs to be paid up front. A lot of times they want the down payment, which is usually about 2%, 2 percent, 2 to 3 percent of the um, the price of the home. And that um, that deposit shows that buyer, I'm sorry, shows the seller that you are serious about purchasing their home, okay? So again, all of that can add up to in the thousands. Now, there are programs that you can get um, where uh, you can actually take advantage of the program and actually walk away with money or um, walk away with not paying anything okay but you have to look for those programs your agent can help you find those programs but in the meantime it doesn't matter because you having the money um saved up will help you if you don't need it for the closing costs for the inspections for the home itself you can always use that saved up money to be able to purchase furniture okay so um again i am going to share 25 ways that you can save money to purchase a home one of the ways that you can save money is by shopping and getting cash back for shopping in, at certain retailers, okay? Ebates, which is also now known as Rakuten, um, offers, first of all, a $10 welcome bonus for you joining. And then also they give you cash back for shopping at certain retailers, okay? Don't worry, I'm going to put a link um of where you can sign up in the uh, comment section. I'm also going to put a list of the retail stores that you can shop at and get cash back. There's stores such as Best Buy, AliExpress, some re some cell phone companies such as Best Buy, Walmart, uh, Sam's Club, Ultra Beauty, Kohl's, PetSmart, Nike, Lowe's, Target. The these are stores that you can, some of the stores that you can shop in and get cash back um, just by signing up through Ebates, okay? You can um, do your fitness and your exercise at home, okay? Get rid of your gym membership, guys. You can go on to YouTube and you can find um, exercise routines so for you to do right there at home, okay? Now, I know that some of you join the gym member gym um so that you can communicate with people and have that social activity and i'm not saying that you can't do that but just sacrifice for a short time until you are able to save this money to purchase your home okay learn how to cook guys 
Eating out at restaurants can be very, very expensive. I'm talking $10 per head, okay? So if you are a couple you and you go out constantly, you are spending a whole lot of money to eat out, okay? Well, I'm going to challenge you to, if you're not... Uh, if you don't like cooking, learn how to cook. And then also try new recipes. Do something exciting so that you can save money. Again, this is a temporary sacrifice. Pack snacks if you need to. Some of you are always on the go. Okay, so like my son and I used to always be on the go. Okay, but you pack snacks um, so that you can kind of try to avoid eating out. Okay, and then when you're at work... Take your lunch to work, okay? Also, listen, bargain shop, okay? Some of you are totally against thrift stores, yard sales. Ah, I love them. Flea markets, yard sales, garage sales, thrift stores, secondhand stores, consignments, all of them will save you money, okay? So commit to not buying anything unless you are getting a deal, unless you are getting a bargain, okay? So bargain shop, okay? Get rid of your cable subscription. Oh my goodness, some of you are paying over hundreds of dollars a month to have cable subscriptions or um yeah cable subscriptions we'll get rid of that try the amazon fire stick it comes equipped with programs and, and movie channels i should say um and lots of movie channels that are absolutely free the fire stick is forty dollars um, for the stick and then you have the fire box which is about a hundred dollars but it has more memory okay so Invest in an Amazon Fire Stick and ditch the cable, guys. It's way too much money. Okay? Increase your 401k or your 402b. I believe that's 402b. Anyway, your savings at retirement. You want to increase that. You know, the, um, the fortunate thing is that when you are purchasing home, you can actually borrow against the 401k. Okay, but you must be purchasing a home. Okay, anyway, increase that amount so that when the time comes for you to purchase a home, you can borrow against it and have your down payment. Remember, that's thousands of dollars. But if you increase that um, and it comes out of your paycheck, pretty much you won't see it because it'll, you know, it'll be saving up into the account that you cannot touch. Okay, bargain shop for better plans guys listen never accept anything at face value always look to see if there's a cheaper deal there are apps out there even for uh, grocery shopping where you can compare the prices and then go to the store that offers the cheaper plan okay or the cheaper bargain shop for better insurance rates okay again you don't have to take um, everything as is, you can shop around to see if someone else can give you a better deal so that you can save money, okay? Look for free family fun activities. Guys, it costs money sometimes to go into these, um, like the, what is it, Chuck E. Cheese's and place like, like it can be very, very expensive. But in fact, you can create your own fun at home, okay? You can, um, look for free fun activities especially here in the dmv we have so many free family activities and i can leave a link to um, a website where you can find those activities um, but you have so many we have so many museums we have so many things that you can take advantage of here in the dmv that are absolutely free okay so look for free family fun activities okay Listen, follow low-cost or no-cost fees, okay? Some of these banks are charging a lot of fees, okay? So you want to look for a credit union account or someplace that charges low or no fees because those fees add up every month. You're talking $30, $20. You know, even if it's, if it's $10, it adds up every month, okay? So you want to look for low-cost or no-fee accounts to um, help store your money, okay? Reduce your energy costs. Um, let me say that again. Reduce your energy costs, okay? Find ways to um, save energy in your home, even if it means putting plastic on your windows, even if it means 
put in like a door stop under the door to block the um, to block the air. Find ways to um, cut energy costs, even if it means you having an energy audit, even if it means you um, changing your filters frequently. Find things to do so that you can save. A way to save money is to avoid cell phone contracts okay so we're going no contracts okay get the prepaid whatever you want to call it but no cell phone contracts because if you have to if life happens and um, your finances change they will they will charge you a penalty for be, getting out of or trying to get out of the contract okay so we're going no contracts that's the name of the game okay and that's a great way to save money okay also listen focus on buying necessities listen on necessities now when you move then you can treat yourself you can splurge do whatever um but right now you know, you're going to focus on necessities. And actually, I take that back. It is okay to treat yourself sometimes, but not every paycheck, okay? We need to do some saving, okay? Listen, go on a spending fast, okay? Leave the credit card at home and resolve to not spending Monday. Um, even if you go maybe two weeks, maybe a month, but go on a spending fast, okay? Um, also, listen, consider using solar panels. Some people say um, if you are a homeowner, um, consider using solar panels. If you're looking to, you know, sell your home, um, consider using solar panels because some people say that it gives them discounts. OK, so uh, excuse me. So consider solar panels. The other thing is to get a roommate, get a roommate or rent out a room so that you can save money until you are able to purchase your own home okay use in network providers um for you on your health insurance okay in other words when you go and visit the doctor some of them are in network and some in network and some of them are out the outer network um physicians will charge you more so you want to make sure that your provider is an in network provider for your health insurance okay and you can simply ask and they'll be able to help you, okay? Okay, listen, buying a home can help you save on taxes and build equity, okay? So you want to stay focused um, on saving, on um, being able to um, accomplish this goal so that, again, you can save on your taxes, taxes and build equity, okay? Cancel your telephone landline if you still have one. Believe it or not, there are some people who still have landlines, although they have cell phones. Your cell phone is enough, okay? You don't need landlines. You don't need that extra expense, okay? Even the internet. You no longer need a landline for the internet. At one time you did, now you don't, okay? So cancel that telephone landline and save that money so that you can purchase your home, okay? Search for free or low-cost items on social media or e-commerce websites such as OfferUp, Craigslist, Nextdoor, Facebook Marketing Place, and eBay. Okay, so look for free items. Guys, I've gotten t televisions, and I'm talking 55-inch, 40-inch TVs, free, absolutely free. I've gotten a desk. I've gotten um, a laptop. I've gotten a refrigerator, a microwave. There are so many things that you can get for free on these websites, okay? So just look around, okay? Shop with cash. Let me tell you, one swipe of a credit card can wipe away thousands, okay? But some, some, for some reason, when you're paying with cash, you seem to be more conscious of how much you're spending, or at least I do, okay? So shop with cash, okay? And then you'll see, you'll literally be able to see how much you're giving away, okay? Buy refurbished items, guys. It's so some refurbished items or most refurbished items and also store brand products are just as valuable or just as good as brand names, okay? So or or brand new cell phones. Um so purchase refurbished items and save yourself some money. Okay, number 23, shop online. Believe it or not, there are better deals online. Like um, you can go, like for example, Walmart. 
and I'm just using this as an example. Some of the things that they have online are cheaper than what they have on the, in the store. Okay, so you can find better deals when you shop online as opposed to shopping in the store and you can save on gas. Okay, so that's another way for you to save money. Okay, give up expensive habits. Oh my goodness, guys. Smoking, drinking, clubbing. Let me tell you, smoking, for example, is about $8 a pack. Okay, and you think about the fact that some people smoke two and three packs a day. Well, that's twenty dollars or more per day. That's a lot of money. Um, so, and even at eight dollars a day, that's still a lot of money over time. Okay, so you want to get help if you need to, but get rid of the expensive habits. Okay, also refinance your student loan for a lower rate. Okay. Um, some people have student loans that are the cost that are the cost of a home. Okay, so you want to shop for a better, um, a lower interest rate, and you want to refinance your student loans. Okay, listen, track your spending and pay close attention to what you spend your money on, so that you can make adjustments accordingly. Make a conscious effort to save money. Okay. Listen, thank you so much for listening. I hope that this has been helpful. I'm Brenda Douglas, your real estate notary and title expert. And uh, listen, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if it has been helpful. And listen, whether you are buying or selling a home, keep your head up, your hopes high. And remember that it is not over until the keys are exchanged. Thank you so much for listening.